I'm sorry that you've been hurt. But I'm not sorry that you fell in love with Anita, and I'm not sorry that she made you happy. She's never going to forgive me. Well, you don't know that. Whatever she fell in love with has not gone away. Trust me, the amour is muerto. Well, if it is, then you're going to have to move on. I can't. Bobby, there are a lot of people that you're going to meet. You're very young. And you're going to find somebody that you're going to love and somebody that you're going to laugh Mom, with. Mom, Mom, I already found her, okay? If she can't move beyond the fact that you have a child, then you're just going to have to let her go. Why? Because there are a lot of things in life that are painful, and you have to move through them. And there are a lot of things that are good, and then you just oh, cling on, to them. What's good in this? Sam. Sam. <laughs> let me tell you something about Sam. That poor kid could have had an out-of-sight life with the Edna Maria team. But you know what? Kelsey can't stand anybody being happy. So she snatched the kid. So, so what's good about that, huh? She torched their lives. Then mine and Anita's, too. Now she's torching Sam. That's good? You think that's good? No, that's not good. But Sam is. And the love that you have for Anita is. What? No matter what comes from this, you've known the real thing. That is rare, and that is wonderful. And that is no good to me. You know what, I, I don't know, I guess I shouldn't fight the pattern, huh? I mean, Mickey the A-plus wonder kid, knowing him, he's probably gonna wind up landing, I don't know, Miss America. Me, on the other hand, man, I must have been temporarily insane to think that I could actually hold on to the one miracle that I stumbled into. No. Yeah. You know, I was really lousy with Anita at first. I almost blew it, big time. But then I got another chance, and everything clicked. It was great. I mean, you know, maybe not as impressive as winning the International Tchaikovsky Competition or even being the world's best surgeon, microsurgeon. But it was as good as my life is ever gonna get, you know? And you thought I was terrific. When I was with her, I felt like I just did the best G minor riff on the planet. You know, I, I mean, I felt like I could, I could just do anything, things that I, I never even dreamed about doing before. Because all the the boundaries, all the limits disappeared. Because Anita believed in me like nobody ever believed in me before. And then I just, I just threw it all away forever. It's gone, it's gone. Well, your father and I have believed in you. Maybe we didn't. Maybe we didn't do a good job of showing it. Maybe we could do a better job now if you could just Mom, move back. Mom, 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 stop it, all right? It's too little, too late. I, I just, I, I don't, I don't want to hear it anymore. Bobby, don't throw it all out. What do you, what do you want to do? What do you, you, you want to take me back to Chicago so you can... Remind me of what a C-minus flop I was and how you had to ship me out to shape up my academic career. Only, only problem is I knocked up one girl and completely demolished another one. Your father and I would not make your life harder. We would try and help you. You're going to need somebody who loves you to help no, you. No, you know what? The only person who could have helped me hates my guts. So just leave me alone, all right? Because, Mom, I definitely don't want your help. You understand? Bobby, that? come on. Come back here. Your mother told you not to go. Come back here, young man. Oh. Father, he thinks he's a failure. I'm the one who's a failure. You are not a failure. I am father. too a failure. You're supposed to be able to raise your kids. They're supposed to be able to be the most important thing in your life, and I can't even talk to mine. Darling, he'll come around. No, he won't. I don't think so, Father. I think he's... 
Of course, as long as you need to. I, I mean, it'll be fun. More people to cook, more people to play cards. What size shoe do you wear? Do you know how to play poker? <laughs> well, I, I'm not... No, I'm, I'm not. Well, maybe your wicked brother can teach you. And maybe with you playing along, he won't cheat so much. Harvey, are you sure this is okay? Okay, of course this is okay. Look, this is no problem. We have oodles of space, and whenever you see a pair of shoes you don't like, just kick them under the sofa. It's just that I really hate doing this to you guys. It's what are you really doing to us? You need a place to stay. You have a place to stay. Hey, I'm hungry. Oh, you're hungry? What do you say we go and grab a couple burgers? Let Haley and Mateo relax a little bit. Sound good? Yeah, actually, that's a great idea. Um, now that I think of it, I am hungry. No. Um... Did you guys want anything from the store? Uh, milk, orange juice? Uh, hey, hey, well, you know, it's the no, 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 I listen, could do is listen, go... listen, listen. I, I shopped already, okay? You don't have to do a thing. Consider this uh, a little vacation. If she wants to do something, look, if you get up first, you can make the coffee in the morning. Okay. Yeah, uh, if you don't, it, it, it gets pretty ugly here. Shut up. <laughs> I'll see you later, guys. Okay. So yeah. long. Be safe. Your sister's so sweet, mm. wanting to help out like that. Are you sure this is all right with you? Of course, I said it was fine. Because I, I, I know this is not what you had in mind, you know, moving in here with me. And believe me, I, I couldn't have imagined that our first official week together, we wouldn't be alone. But we're together. Okay. Yeah, we are. Look, I, I need to say something to you. Mm -hmm. I need to talk. Here you go. Mm. Um, let me preface this by saying that you mean more to me than anyone in the world. But my sisters, they're a part of me. They always will be. I have this thing. I, I need to protect them. I need to help them. I need to be there for them always. And my dad, he's making it very hard for you. He's really strict, huh? Very strict. He's destructive our whole lives. He's controlled every facet. You know, our, our school, our work, church, social life, forget about it. I could never bring anybody home. You know, it was always a battle. He never accepted any of our friends. I, I love my father, but he's very inflexible, and he's turned the family apart. Me, I got off easy. I got off light, because I'm a guy. You call what happened at Christmas time, getting off light? Well, he didn't send me to a convent or in Mexico or anything. Uh. See, in my family, the sons, they're worshipped. And the daughters, they're given all the grief. My mom, she tries to soften the blows, but there's only so much she can do. And sure enough, one by one, he's turned this all against him. Except for Rosa, of course. She's young, but give her time. Wow. Yeah, and Anita. She's so headstrong and full of life, you know? And I feel it's my duty, if I can stop him from breaking her spirit, I have to. I have to. All right, so you know the way I feel. And I need to know the way you feel. Uh, we can't go on here, okay? Are you ticked that I asked Anita to stay? Mateo, I think it's fantastic that you feel for your sisters the way you do. It's one of the million reasons I love you like I do. A million? A million reasons? Huh? More. You know, I don't know the first thing about what it's like to be a real family. You turned out good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, basically, what I'm trying to say is, when I fell in love with you, I fell in love with the entire package. So, the Familia Santos becomes Mi Familia. I love you, Haley Vaughn. I love you more. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I got a man that cares about his family the way he does. How did I get so lucky? Why can't I find a way to help Bobby, Father? I've never seen him this broken. Well, broken hearts, man. It's not just his heart, it's his self-esteem. He doesn't think that he can do anything right. He feels like he's nothing, he feels he has nothing. 
So now he thinks that we abandoned him when we sent him to Pine Valley, and now Anita's abandoned him, too? I've got to find a way to make him feel better. You're going to take on this creep? How long? After I rest a little. You can barely stand up. I got here, didn't I? Away from where I was held. I'm stronger than I look. You want to take this guy on alone, right? This guy that hurt you bad. You're going to take him on alone in your condition? Are you nuts? Now listen to me. If you don't want me to help you, you're going to call the cops. I know a DA there. He's a friend of mine. He'll treat you fairly, but you are not leaving until you make some calls. Anyone else finds me? What? If anyone else gets involved, he'll find me. And if he finds me, he'll kill me. Wait a minute. Where are you... Where's Tony? I think she escaped when I went and I dumped Janet's body. Why didn't you tell me, Christopher? I was going to. It's just that I went out to find her myself, and you got here and found it all out before I had an opportunity. What? Why? Why? Lie? Christopher, you know how much I hate that. Or maybe you weren't thinking clearly, right? With the sleep deprivation and all that. I hate being the last to know. This sleeping disorder of yours, for example, why not mention it to me? I would have only been too glad to have given you a shot. <gasps> Janet Green! Don't, don't! Don't! Wait from here, I will call the police. Please listen. How dare you try to force your way into my home? I have to warn you about Jonathan Kinder. Stay tuned for scenes from the next All My Children. Tomorrow on All My Children. You have no idea of the harm you've done. This baby is mine. I need to help my son. The only person that can reach him is you. Will you help? You let her escape. I will go get her and I'll go get her right now. You're not going anywhere.